Hey guys! So guess what? Probably one of the coolest things came out recently and I just literally had to drop everything and review it with you guys. There is now a Five Nights at Freddy's Monopoly? Easily one of the funnest board games out there. I mean, I guess it's not that surprising. There are so many versions of Monopoly out there that Monopoly basically has a monopoly of board games. I actually grew up on the Dairyopoly version. Probably because there's so many dairies in Idaho where I grew up. Yeah, I bet you were all thinking I grew up on Potatoopoly, but- That's it! Now, my future children will end up growing up with Freddyopoly. I'm actually kinda sad it's not called Freddyopoly. But according to the box, they have to be 12 years old to play it? Excuse me, I was playing Dairyopoly when I was 8! Are you telling me that children under 12 don't understand how money works? So obviously that age recommendation thing is kind of stupid. Another thing that I feel like is kind of off? is this box. This is Five Nights at Freddy's. We should see Scott's official model of Springtrap, or Freddy, or a bunch of characters, or anything other than this, come on! This art is for the books, which is another canon from the games. And honestly, it just looks fan-made. I'm not saying that because the art isn't good enough. I don't know if I could have done better. It's just the fact that it's art, and not the actual modeled characters we've all grown to love over the years. Don't get me wrong, I don't dislike the twisted characters. But I have a slight feeling that, other than the cover of the box, these guys are not gonna be in this game. Trust me guys, they won't be. I feel like the box alone might make some fans uninterested in buying this. Just another example of bad design, which sadly 9 times out of 10 FNAF merch has. Let's hope the inside of the box will make up for this. Oh my gosh. Already I see why the cover of the box was art. The rest of this is too? Ugh, that really sucks. I know that the artist was hired by Scott and all, but this is really not what I was expecting. Heck, even the stupid looking Monopoly man was 3D modeled. I'm gonna try and not be a Debbie Downer for the rest of this video, because I still am excited to play Monopoly with a twist of Five Nights at Freddy's. But man, I wish this game could have been more like those useless trading cards right about now. At least those had pictures of the actual characters. Let's check out our playing board. Now, this is at least looking better. Unlike the cover of the box, we can look at the classic animatronics. And not only that, the property spaces, which are apparently animatronics, have actual pictures of the characters with their corresponding backgrounds- WHAT?! This is so cool! The cheapest characters are from Sister Location, which <laughs> makes no sense. They seem like they'd be the most expensive. But at the same time, the order of these characters go by game. The older the game, the more expensive the character. Which makes total sense from a nostalgic standpoint. Of course everyone's gonna want Freddy and Golden Freddy, which are placed in the most expensive spots. The images of these characters are just fantastic. Baby is so cute. Nightmare Chica and Nightmare Bonnie look fantastic. Springtrap came back like he always does. Balloon Boy is somehow more expensive than Toy Bonnie. And don't forget, Feisty Freddy. Our money in this game are pizzeria dollars, which could have been more creative in my opinion, but whatever. The player tokens easily make up for that. We have Bonnie's guitar, Freddy's microphone, Foxy's hook, Chica's cupcake, who definitely has some sort of PTSD, a Freddy mask that kind of looks stretched, a Freddy plushie, and lastly, a Freddle. Whoa, there was obviously some mistakes made here. What happened to his face? Despite the issues, these things are super cool. Then we have our property cards and chance cards, for our chance and community chess cards, we've got mini games and hallucinations. Couldn't have done it better. That is such an awesome idea. Who else is excited to see what they say? Now you may be wondering about the house and hotel pieces. What are they replaced with? Obviously that doesn't go with Finance of Freddy's. Well, in this case, they're supposed to be diners and pizzerias. This makes sense from a Monopoly standpoint, but... Uh... Am I gonna be building a diner on Balora? Does that mean Balora is gonna have her own diner? What happens when I have two, or three, or four diners? Is she just gonna take turns working in each one? I find this actually kind of funny, but also weird. Before I opened the box, I was wondering what they'd do with these pieces. And we kind of came up with the idea that maybe they're animatronic upgrades. Which honestly, I think would have made a lot more sense, and shouldn't have been very hard to do. So I was a bit bummed they weren't very unique with those. You may be thinking, oh, it's probably too much work to replace the house and hotel pieces with some brand new piece. Well, actually, it's probably not that hard. They're little tiny pieces of plastic, and the frickin' cheesy Dairyopoly game that I grew up with replaced them with cows and calves. Come on, Freddyopoly. Dairyopoly is beating you right now. 
But anyway, let's stop gawking at this and play it already. Today I'm going to be playing with my two best friends, my sister Kayla, and my adorable boyfriend Zach. Who do you think will win? And yes, we are playing on the floor, because being the unusual person that I am, we don't have a dining room table and chairs. Instead, we have a wall of dragons. Psst. Hey guys, I have more babies looking for homes. They need hugs and snuggles. You can buy them from my website, DapperDragons.com. The link is below. This video is indeed sponsored by myself. So just getting the board set up, we have some unique opinions from my friends. I think this is really stupid and cheap. Like, this is the most generic corners of any Monopoly board. They could have done something cool in Five Nights at Freddy's but like True. What do you think, Noodle? So why isn't Purple Guy an option? Well, we all wish he was. But to be honest, he's probably the one in jail. Let's get this party started! Four. Maintenance panel, pay $200, really. Alrighty. Alrighty. Oh yes, I'm excited to see Hallucination! You. Get out of jail free. Cool. That's all it says? Yep. So yeah, seems as though hallucinations may not be as interesting as we'd hoped. Dang. I got six. Nightmare Foxy boy. <gasps> Nightmare Foxy. You jelly? Yes. Also, we've been playing slightly wrong thus far. This is the mortgaged side of the card. So this is supposed to be face up. Lame. I just keep rolling doubles. Whoa, 10. The pass go and put two dollars. Mini game. Let's see what it is, Zach. What's your mini game? Get out of jail free. Are you oh my gosh! Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Hundred out of hundred. Best king. Best king. Seriously? Oh gosh! Wow, we're all on free parking. Hey, at least you didn't take my spring boy. Spring boy. You should collect all the chicas. Buy some chickens. That doesn't sound like a solid business strategy. Oh, I'm sure it is. Open a KFC. Oh my gosh, yes. Tell us about this card of yours. Well, I get to collect $100 because it's zero days until the party. Where are my face going to be? Is that the settlement that Freddy's gave you for almost dying? You know, I sure hope so. Although $100 is a little low. Yeah. And we have our first ever money exchange. Zach landed on Kayla's left vent entry. Rip $25. I got a mini game! You can't save them. Pay $50. Oh. This is actually a cool card. Pretty dark, but hey, this is Five Nights at Freddy's. A game about murdered children that were stuffed into robots and left to rot. What? Hand it over. Sick. No, I was collecting all the Funtime animatronics and Kayla had to go and buy my Ennard. And now Zach gets some exotic butters? Come on, not cool. Kayla seems to be in the lead, with a full set of green characters, the second best in the game. And after some trading, Zach and I are probably screwed. Y'all gonna lose. Right after buying fan favorite Balloon Boy, I got a minigame card that said, Complete BB's Air Adventure, receive $100. Guess there's some sort of special connection between me and BB. I apparently had a hallucination of Golden Freddy's head floating down the hall. But hey, I got 200 bucks for it. So yeah, as you can probably tell, a lot of these minigames and hallucinations have it all wrong. A lot of times they pay you for things that are definitely not good, and then other times you have to pay for things that would be good. So... I feel like whoever designed these have no idea what they were doing. <gasps> oh my gosh, yes! I landed on Springy! 
The first player has fallen into debt. Zack had to mortgage Toy Freddy to pay for them darn monitors! Things are not looking good for him. And Kayla has purchased the first diner of the game. For Bonnie. We're doomed. Minigame, minigame, minigame! <laughs> And I'm not doing so well. Hope you guys weren't rooting for me. Thanks, Kayla. Bedela. Bo Bam Bo Bela. At long last, Kayla's Foxy destroyed me. Mortgaging everyone that I had, I still didn't have enough money to pay her. Now it's a battle against Kayla the Property Queen, and Zack with his trusty Freddy and Golden Freddy. Monopoly. Turning friends into enemies and family into anim anime enemies. <laughs> <laughs> the flashlight killed you? And she doesn't get the satisfaction of getting more long in her place. It's okay, I got literally everything else. How do you feel about winning Five Nights at Freddy's? Well... Monopoly. Fredopoly. I have no words, but I can show you how I feel. And that's it! That was the Five Nights at Freddy's Monopoly. We all definitely had fun playing this. But hey, who doesn't like Monopoly? There are some pros and cons. The box art seemed weird. The property pieces didn't make much sense. And some things could have been more custom. But then again, there are some really awesome things about this game as well. The player pieces, the hallucinations and minigames. As weird as they are, they're definitely fun. And all the animatronics you can collect. So will you guys be playing Freddyopoly in the future? Let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have an awesome night. Bye!